Yeah, when Cole Anthony was out, he actually started at Gonzaga and played a lot of minutes during that period. And there's the senior, Garrison Brooks, knocking down the shot. So that they're not sweating on Selection Sunday. And we'll show you the ACC tournament seeding, depending on who wins what a little bit later on. The seniors have come out of the game now for Carolina. Right now, he's guarding Matthew Hurt at the other end of the court. Stewart walled up by Kerwin Walton, but the cutter is Jeremy Roach, who's got the easy layer. You heard drawing Dayron Sharp away from the basket. The lane was wide open because Armando Baycott had to be guarding the post, Mark Williams. Baycott goes right into the chest of Mark Williams and scores. And then keep making him guard in the post. The double there on Sharp. Aaron pass to Baycott. He has it blocked. Gets it back and finishes. And Matthew Hurt with the foul on a reach-in. Coming off his man, he's able to impact that play with a good reach. Big to big, over the top, sharp to Baycott. Mark Williams has gone to the bench for Duke with the ball. His replacement, Patrick Tappé, the grad transfer from Columbia. By virtue of its win today over Louisville and Florida State losing to Notre Dame. Congratulations to Tony Bennett and the Virginia Cavaliers. You know, North Carolina's offense is really what has let it down this year. De North Carolina's defense has been pretty good. It's been top 25 in most of the metrics. Wide open, Caleb Love. He blocks and three steals for the freshman who, as Jay said, has been coming on like gangbusters the last few weeks. Back cut by Paul. Wow. And give the assist to Walker Kessler, who has just checked into the game. Not surprised he's fighting through it. And knocks down a jumper. That didn't take long. Opportunity to a good try. So if you count that as a dunk, which I imagine they do, now 24 of Williams' 50 field goals are dunks. Being guarded by Matthew Hurt. Let him touch the ball. Step back jumper, and he knocks it down with a shot clock running down. These are two of the youngest teams in the country. Black with a cut and a feed, and Baker with a finish. North Carolina, that last possession, the backdoor cut drew the defense. Nobody helps. A little drop-off pass to Armando Baycott. Henry Coleman the has got to come over. Darren Sharp has moved his feet very effectively. Switching on to a guard. Great field over Baycott. Yeah, you're going to give up that dunk. i got a stat for you, Jake. Carolina's got nine assists on 11 field goals and eight different Tar Heels already have an assist in this. Uh, let's talk about moving the ball and being unselfish. What a great shot by Stewart. With his last couple of games, he was four of 21 his last two, and R.J. Davis just got a little piece of him as an airborne shooter. Caught his arm after the ball had been released. You just want to get, you just want to get pressure on the shot. An opportunity to go after that rebound, but Brakefield just took his legs out. Wow, Stewart with some determination getting to the glass right there. 14 point lead. If by halftime you could get it down under 10, and then you can have a ball game in the second half. Now Stewart's trying to do it. But we've been the best Blue Devil to this point of the night. So good with that floater. Not an easy shot. Good. And the best shooter on this Tar Heel team. Not gotten any consistent touches, and when he has, he's taken a couple challenge shots and hadn't come close on either one of them. Brooks to Kessler. Kessler's been playing really, really well lately. Carolina's leading scorer. One of the few threes that North Carolina's missed in that, this game. Good position inside. Williams with a follow, and the second time is good. And a very talented and Big freshman in Mark Williams and Walker Kessler. Wow. Kerr with a wall. How oh, they've shot the ball against Duke and then the game's in between. A low jumper for Love, who's having a nice first half. The kick to Brooks. 19 footer. Banks it in. Very balanced scoring so far for Carolina. Goldwire with a nice look. Extra pass more. And the three will go down for Matthew Hurt, his first points of the game. Have to play on the first day of the ACC tournament. Unusual position for the Blue Devils. Good drive by Matthew Hurt. The trap. Goldwire finds Hurt. Hurt finds Stewart. And Stewart finds the bottom of the net. Disrupt some of the rhythm that North Carolina established in the first half. And underway here in the second half of our Sonic Blockbuster. Nice shot fake and step in by Walton. Erwin Walton keeping it alive. That was a huge first possession for North Carolina. Good position by Williams, and he slams it home over Baker. Carolina doing it almost pre-switching on out of bounds. 
Wendell Moore Jr. hangs and hits, and they got it down to 13. Not sure Mike Krzyzewski's going to love that shot. A quick three from Jamin Breakthrough. And now they don't find Walton in transition, and it costs him. Jordan Goldwire pushing it for Duke and lays it in. Aggressive play by Goldwire to make it an even stronger case heading into Greensboro. Yeah, I think North Carolina is firmly in the field. Now, that doesn't mean you, know, you lose the, your next couple of games uh, that, that you make it. The league is not rated the same way that it usually is. Love using the screen, driving past her. And gets a tough one to go, and he's fouled as well. A, a nice win in Columbus. Io DeSumo back despite a facial injury, playing with a mask and played. McDonald's All-Americans, terrific talents. There's just no left. And a steal by Tape, who's just come in for Williams. That's a, a different way to construct a basketball team. But most teams are going more for free. Oh, no! Oh, my God. And Kessler slams it home. Taking care of the ball and deliver it inside. I mean, this is a well-constructed team. A turnover. And what a block. Leaky Black from behind. Team, this North Carolina team, and it goes it goes for Duke as well. If, if Kerwin Walt is, man, that guy's a shooter. Uh, we don't know about Sharp. You assume Baycott will, and then you got Kessler. Like, Kessler's going to get a lot more minutes, and he, he's going to become a big factor. He's, he's going to be a great player. You know, these guys are not that, but that is not, you don't mean that as a slight to say, hey, you know, it's going to take these guys a little bit longer to be great. Meanwhile, the seniors having a pretty good night, isn't he? Garrison Brooks in his four years, Jay, to your point, has won the Defensive Player of the Game Award 37 times. Hurts just lost it. Or was that deflected by Brooks? I don't think Brooks, we're, we're not sitting down at the court. Right, Brooks just lost Hurt in transition after that shot attempt, and that's pretty easy. Bacon. You know, if you're a Carolina fan, you can watch them at times and say, you know what? Their good is really good. Like, they beat Louisville 99 to 54. That's often the difference between uh, the, the good teams and the, and the really good teams is high level consistency. And, and North Carolina's not been consistent at the highest level to a lot of different issues for, the, for that team. But you know, now both teams starting to throw the ball all over the place. Wendell Moore off to Goldwire, back to Moore for the bucket. Quiet night for Moore. A number of coaches have told Scott Drew that they felt like. And that's not like everybody's got a ton of experience with it. They, they felt like it took a few games. Another great cut. Stewart swatted away by Baycott. RJ Davis made a nice job staying front defensively. Switches off on Matthew Hurt. Solid job. Well, Hurt follows up his own miss. Tips it up and in. It's all assuming, we should just mention this once, that Virginia Tech is there. The Hokies have been off to a couple of games canceled due to COVID issues, contact tracing. Get a lot of attention. I think Carly Jones at Louisville, too, deserves a lot of uh, consideration. I thought he was the front runner actually, a couple of weeks ago. It's away by Baycott. Bounces right back to Baker. And laying it in is Williams. You know, Roy Williams made a, an interesting point yesterday about about his team and his freshmen is that, that North Carolina was only in uh, in-person school uh, for, for athletes, that, that they're living in hotels. And that, that's that's a difficult thing. And Georgia Tech before, if you haven't seen Georgia Tech, they're feisty. They got a real spirit about them. And one of my favorite players in the league, Jose Alvarado. And they're, they're one of the, the lowest volume free throw shooting teams in the country. We would expect to see Garrison Brooks pulled from the game before it ends. This is his senior now. Let him get uh, an ovation you know such as it is from the 3,000 or so, but he deserves that after the four years that he's had in Chapel Hill. Play at a place like North Carolina or Duke and play for Roy Williams or Mike Krzyzewski, Dean Smith, whomever. Uh, it's an unforgettable time period. What a great, what a great way to finish. Hey, but Kenny, we hope you'll watch it. Number 30 can still score. And there's Sterling Manley, a redshirt junior who's had a lot of injuries in his career. Because of the medical redshirt, he actually came in with the other seniors who started here at North Carolina. And now he's got a block at the other end, and good for him to have some fun. Dominant tap to buzzer. Uh, 
it, it applies in this one. Duke was never in this game. North Carolina took him out of it from the very beginning. An impressive win for North Carolina.